And part one, Subong, uh, free to give. The title of the message is Tithing is not a tight thing. Eluaton ko ha? Tithing is not a tight thing. Kanami isang play of words. Ang akon toon sa Siningawali one day. Ang panumdom ko sang title one week. <laughs> Now, week pang title. Now, do you know nga ang tithing has been so abused sa aton mga churches that people are left without any option but to give out of fear. Tungod sa kulba. And sa subong nga aga, we will find out the truth because because the truth will set us free. And ang ina, ina nga truth makita lamang kay Kristo. Remember that whatever binds you, okay? Whatever binds you is not the truth. Because ang design sang kamatuuran is to set us free. Mabalani mo ngang isa ka teaching is a lie and it's wrong if pagkatapos mo bate you have not experienced freedom. Amen? And you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. If the sun sets you free, ang Habal sa Bible, you will be free indeed. And that is for sure. Kadamo sa mga Christians have been hurt because of this abuse sa teaching about tithing. Don't get me wrong. I am not against tithing. But tithing is not a tight thing. Amen? Now, ano nga mga abuse in eh? Una, it becomes a prison where people are driven by fear and guilt to give. Intudluan kita nga kung hindi ka mag-tight, kag kung magkulang ang imo tight, you will be cursed. For example, nagmasakit ka, ay bala mo kulang hatag ko. Mawali ang pastor nga kung hindi ka mag-hatag sang 10%, mukhang 9% lang. Mospital ka, bawion sang ginoo ang imo negosyo. O, oh, hindi ka pa na mag-hatag, makon mo na. Magka-kidney stone ka. Ah. Imagine. Wala ka choice. Siyempre mahatag ka. Bisan wala na gid. Ubus-ubus na gid. Mahatag ka. I've known someone here. There is a church. Hindi ko lang mention ng name. Pero nangayo siya advice ako. Uh, hambal niya. My friend ako. Kilang nan kwarta. 500. Gusto ko tanay hatag ako. 500. Kaya I know kilang nan niya gid. Mas kilang nan niya compare sa ako. O galing na kulbaan ako maghatag sa iya. Kaya nga, amun ang akong tights. Namangkot ako nga kulbaan ka. Kaya basi magmasakit ako. May ba naman nga churches nga soktanay? Ginapapasa sa form. Ilista ang sweldo. Ipasa sa pastor. Kagkong kulang. Padalaan letter. <laughs> This thing I'm gonna do is gold land, no? Gusto niya na? Hindi. Okay. Now, that's a reality. Kada mo ko nabatihan nga story after stories nga mo sina. You see? Grabe, ini siya nga abuse o tod. And some Christians I know, they stopped going to the church kaya nga ang wali kada Sunday, tighting na lang. Imagine, bisan ano, bisan lain ang topic ko, ginasalot ang offering. Kay man kulang offering nyo. Kay man kulang hatag nyo. Oh. Isa teksan ka pati, wala pa da kaabot ang alatment siyang bana mo. <laughs> Ay, kadlaw ka mo pero tuod na. Now, the worst thing I can hear diri sa church is this. Nasa gold land, ginpugaan kami. Tuod. <laughs> Hindi amuna. That's a lie. Tandaan nyo, ang fear is a bondage. There is no freedom in fear. Now, ang opposite naman, if you don't, if you give, you are blessed. And therefore, somewhat my grounds ikaw to boast before the Lord, ngayon ikaw yakin blessed, kaya kaya agahatag ka. It becomes a payment Say mo blessings, right? 
For example, kung nakahatag ka, then you expect God to bless you. Kung hindi ka nakahatag, kakulang hatag mo, feeling mo daw hindi ka na pag-i-bless ng gino. Ari pagid, sometimes ang tithes becomes a peace offering. Especially kung dako-dako sa laan mo sa ginoo, dako-dako man hatag mo. Ma'am, balga kayo sa Lord, patawara lang ko bala kayo matites na gitko. Lord, ari na hatag ko, tites ko. Okay na ta. Now it becomes a peace offering. You see that? Kaya nga, agin tudluan kita nga kung kulang hatag mo, God is angry with you as if God is hungry for money. And you know what? Money becomes the center sa mga ministries right now. Puro kwarta lang. And kita nga mga baptist, we often accuse other denominations that they preach. Sa ginatawag na prosperity gospel nga kung maghatag ka, God will prosper you based sa imo hatag. But don't you know nga amu man ay na-teaching na ito? Maghatag ka, i-bless ka, hindi ka maghatag, i-curse ka. Very simple. Is there faith to that? Is there freedom to that? Ang subo pa kidari. Oftentimes, ang mabatian ko sa ibang nga churches. Kung ang manggaranon, magkato sa simbahan, kag nakadalas ang salakyan, ginapalakpakan. Why? They see people as potential tight giver. A sad truth sa kalabanan sa atong churches that every time we see members, we see them as tight giver, not as souls to be ministered. Sino ang may voice sa church? Mga pigado? Come on. Sino ang may mas voice sa church? That is why kalabanan sa mga problems subong sa mga churches natin are these so-called prominent members kay kuno nagahatag sa simbahan. Nga aga katabo ini because of this abuse. Ang root sini is this. They abuse sang sini nga teaching nga false. Hindi rooted sa pulong sang ginoo. And oftentimes, it is by tradition. Remember that last Sunday, we have tackled about nga, nga, nga ang aton pag-worship sa ginoo, pag-serve sa ginoo, should not be based on tradition. It should be based on truth. And I hope that sa sininga simbahan, money is not number one. Utod, money is just a tool. We don't serve money here. Amen? This is ministry, not ministry. Kung ibang nga churches, may prophets, ato niya profit. Ginaimot ang simbahan nga negosyo. Ang muna, ang bal nila kung gusto mo magbangara noon, pastor ka. E nga nga ito si Tito Kibbs, may helikopter. Panumdum nga ni ko kung ano naman nga doktrina, ito dulo ko. Pasiyan mo pa lang na magka-helikopter ako. Now, I will teach you the truth about tithing. But number one, please be established sa sininga truth. Number one. Una, God doesn't need your money. Amen? Dohin na yaw. God doesn't need your money. Are. Acts 17.25 And He is not served by human hands as if he needed anything. Rather, he himself gives everyone life and breath and everything else. Now, this is a word, and everything else. Does that include money? Yes. Does God need anything from us? No. But why did he command us to give? I'm not against tithing it. Again, patuluan ko ka mo sa inchakto kag proper nga tithing based sa pulong sang ginoo based sa kay Kristo. This is a sensitive topic by the way. Kaya ang mga churcha subong, medyo ito nga ilove you. Ang iban, grace giving. Ang iban, they still believe on tithing. Kaya hindi nila ma-reconcile. Kaya nga, ang tithing is a requirement. Dapat kagid maghatag. Pero sa New Testament, You should not give out of obligation. Hindi ka magatag compulsory. Ang ibang nga churches, kumpul na, sorry pa.
Hindi nila ma-reconcile. Now, there is freedom even sa tithes. Growing up, gintuluan kami sa Kabatuan to give our tithes. And pasalamat ako na kay Daddy. Kasi growing up, nag-uwig ko sa ministry ni Daddy. Sa wala nakakilala sa ako, hindi na kami nakilala ni Mrs. Sabi ni Daddy ka, ministry ko. Okay. Lain tu yuk kali, ngalah ni. Na experience ko ang blessing sa tithing. That's why I am confident to teach this. Sang college ko, bainti lang balon ko. Ang makaya sang bainti ko, barbecue lang lang alim maka pisos kaya ngai pliti ko paiban. Shiti o chopa na ang pliti sang ona. Ja balon ko kan on. But I still give my tithes. Lord, this is for you. Kabalo ka? na nakagraduate ako sa college, wala ako nagmantiner sa barbecue ng limahon. Kaya nga ah, hinggaan ko sa ginoo sa mga classmates ng mga garanon. Gamantiner ko Greenwich, Jollibee, uh, di ba? Burger steak. Uh, di burger wit. <laughs> burger steak. You see, nakanegosyo ako sa college. Load. Before si Manang Melo ang pisa load na yan, negosyo ko na na sa muna. And ang bilog na section ko, sa akong kapalood. Grabe ang favor sang gino. That is why I'm so confident to preach this. And this is, by the way, the area of my life that wala ako naging faithful growing up. Subong. I must be honest sa inyo. Ang wali subong is also a reminder sa akong. Amen? Tanan kita, igo sini. Igo ay. Kalari. Now, under the covenant sang law, there is what we call a tithing. And usually, ang muna yung ginapractice nila. Tithing under the law. Kita ko sa inyo, ha? Under the law, magambal kita covenant, it is an agreement. Magambal kita agreement, my conditions. If you obey, then i-bless ka. If you don't obey, then i-curse ka. Ang muna yung agreement between God and God. And man, amo ni ang covenant sang law nga ginatag sang Ginoo sa kay Moses, the Ten Commandments and the 600 plus commandments kag indugang niya later on after sa 10. Now you must understand nga under the the law or the covenant of Moses, ang condition sang Ginoo is based upon their obedience. Are, ang verse, Deuteronomy 28:1 and 2. If you fully obey the Lord your God, and carefully follow all His commands I give you today. The Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. Are, if you obey, if you obey, all these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. Now, that's the condition, if you obey. Blessings. Okay? Clear lang? Now, how about if you disobey? Verse 15. However, if you do not obey the Lord your God and do not carefully follow all His commands and decrees, I am giving you today all these curses will come on you and overtake you. Oh, somewhat biblical man. O galing, that is applicable under the law. Right? That is why sa Malakay, ang favorite verse natin, it is actually not referring, it is actually referring, I mean, sa law ng tithing. Kaya nga, tanawan ninyo ang sa Malakay, amun ay often times ang ginakote sa mga preachers. Will a man rob God? Yet you are robbing me. But you ask, how do we rob you? In tithes and offerings. You say, "Mani wali kina kawatan mong ginoo." Mabalikan ka sa ginoo kaya kina ginkawatan mo kawatan ka. Nawari. You are cursed with a curse. Yet you, the whole nation, are still robbing me. Ita ni yong curse. If you obey, you are blessed. Botan balon. If you give your tithes, you will be blessed. If you disobey, you don't give your tithe, then you are not blessed. Because under the law, tithing is a requirement. Wala ka choice but to obey it. Now, more on that later. Galatians 3, 13 to 14. Here is what Christ did for us. Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. Notice the word curse of the law. By becoming a curse for us, for it is written, 
Cursed is everyone who is hanged on a pole or on a tree. Now, ang curse, ang tithing, if you fail sa una, di ba, curses will come on you. Anong ganin mo ni Jesus? He became a curse for us on the cross. He redeemed us. What's the purpose? He redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. Amen? Nga ang blessing galis ang ginoo is not sa aton tithing, it is through the Lord Jesus Christ. It is not through your obedience sa law. It is not through your performance. It is through the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? The just shall live by faith, not by works. But ang balon, by performance. Kanami isang ginubra ni Kristo. He redeemed us from the curse. By the way, may isa kita kawali, parts ng Sininga series, that you are free from the demands and curse of the law. Remember nga may mga teaching kita nga generational curses? Yang sala mo sang una, anihon sang bata mo, that has been removed by Christ. I'll prove that to you from the scriptures. Amen? Do we enjoy this truth? Iban nga churches bala kaluluoy. Because they don't know the truth in Christ. Kabuhi pa sila sa, sa lie. Now, are. Because we are not under the law anymore because Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. Tanawa ninyo. Romans 10, 14. For Christ is the end of the law. For righteousness to everyone who believes. Are we still part of the law? Yes or no? No, because Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. Romans 6.14, For sin shall not be your master because you are not under the law, but under grace. Now, under grace, you are not blessed because of your obedience. You are blessed because of Christ's obedience. That is why ang mga promises ang gino does not come along with your tithes. Ang humble diri sa 2 Corinthians 1.20, for no matter how many promises God has made, they are all yes in Christ. And so through Him, the Amen is spoken by us. Amen, ano? We respond by faith. Ngang atun galisalig ara kay Kristo. Hindi sa atun ginhatag. Amen? Namin, no? Okay, na-miss kong isa ka-verse. Anyway, are. Ang hambal ko kayo na under the law, tithing is a requirement. Are yung verse. At that time, men were appointed to be in charge of the storerooms for the contributions, first fruits, and tithes. From the fields around the towns, they were to bring into the storerooms the portions required by the law for the priests and the Levites, for Judah was pleased with the ministering priest and Levites. Now nga, again, requires ang unas, ang ginoo, ang law, I mean, ang tithes, nga ihatag sa mga Levites. Mga Levites, by the way, are the ones serving in the temple. Nga agin impose ang ginoong ina nga, nga layi. Nga requirement siya. Nga hindi siya optional. Why? Because ang tribe of Levi, wala sing land nga ila. Kaya nga, din ila work ara sa temple. Full time ang ila service sa temple. Please note that, kaya agin quote na ni Apostle Paul later on sa New Testament. Pakita ko sa inyo ang principle. Kay Apostle Paul draw ay pa-parallel. Takto? Dapit na ako. <laughs> Parallel truth, dira. In quote na dira. Now, wala sila, yap, wala sila land. Wala sila animals na pwede mabuhi. That is why, ang tanan nga ka-serve so, sa una sa gino full time, din sila kakwa sa nila pagkaon. Sa? Tithes and offerings. Okay. Now, don't you know that there are three kinds of tithes? Hindi lang isa. When we say tithes, pila na ka-percent? Sino ang tithes? Okay. Pila ka-percent? Of course. Uh, of course. Ten. Tanawa na, tunkaroon nga ang ten. Out of all the numbers, nga hindi eleven, nga hindi twelve, nga ten. Okay? Now, are. Ang three kinds of tithes is this. Una, the Levitical tithe or the sacred tithe. Ang muna ginatag nila nga ten percent for the Levites. Ikaduwa nga tithe is this, the tithe of the feasts. 
Ang tithe of the feast, ginaset aside na nila ang money para sa celebration sa mga feasts na ginimpose ng ginoo sa ila. Okay, that is also 10%. They are to give that in one year. Sa ila nga income. Ari pagid. The other tithe is this, the tithe for the poor. Makita na natin sa Deuteronomy 14, 28 to 29, the tithe for the poor, ihatag sa mga epigado. Kag saan una nila ginatag? Every three years. Buta malun, kung totalo ni mo in a year, pila ka percent ang tithes nila? Okay, ginim na ako tubig kayo mag-uko sa math. Pila tanan ka every year? Pila tanan ka percent? Okay, ang isa, 10%. Ang ikadawa, 10%. Ang isa pila? Okay, once every three years. Of course, 33, pila? 3%. 33%. Mag-uko kayo sa math. Okay, 3%. Okay, so pila tanan ang tights? Around 23%. I think nawali na na daddy before. That's why I dig in deeper sa sining nga numbers. So actually, kung sundun gini mo ang Levitical system nga tithing, nga old, I mean nga under sa law nga tithing, kung gusto mo amugin ang sundun mo sa sistema, hindi utod, 10% lang dapat ang hihatag mo sa ginoo. Kundi 23% or 24%. You see that? And there are inconsistencies sa practice sa mga churches right now. Now, din sila mahatag sa mga Levites, sa mga priests. In what form? Now, here's the interesting uh, truth. Don't you know nga ang tithes was never in monetary form? Oo. Kapalaw mo sina? Nga under the law, kali, hindi kwarta ang ginpangita sa gino. And yet, we preach. Okay, it's all about the money, money. Oh. Now, Ario, pakita ko sinyo. It's, it's not in the form of money. It's in the form of fruit, grain, or livestock. But not money. Are, to the Levites, I have given every tithe in Israel for an inheritance in return for their service that they do. Ara na ila inheritance na ya. E wala sila land. Now, every tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree, is the Lord's. It is holy to the Lord. Are you good? Verse 32. Every tithe of the earth, animals, and flock, every tenth animal that passes under the shepherd's rod will be holy to the Lord. Kita ninyo? Now, ang pagkatag nila ganit, animals, seed, fruit. That is why sa Malakai, going back, ang favorite ko natin ng verse na pero may ginagamit is this. And I don't know if you've noticed this. Tanawa ninyo. Malakai 3.10. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. Now, notice the word storehouse that there may be food in my house. It's not money. You see, if you want tithing under the law, you, you should practice some seeds, some fruits, kag sang animals. Sino may karabaw dere? Next Sunday, dala nyo. Sino may kanding dere? May saging. Especially ko sab-a. Tugod ako pa na Imagine ko amun ang tithing na ton. Busog si pastor. <laughs> Pero imagine, masimba kita upod sa kanding nyo na may bangs. <laughs> Can you imagine that kind of worship kung, kung we, if we be consistent sa system sang law? Okay? Nawari. Hindi ako mag-dwell dira. Utod, we are not under the law. We are not under the law, but under grace. Romans 7, 4 to 6, So my brothers and sisters, you also died to the law through the body of Christ. You see that? Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. That you might belong to another, to him who, raised from the, who was raised from the dead, in order that we might bear fruit for God. But now, having died to what was bound us. But ang balon bound, nag imprison sa aton naghigot sa aton kay under sa Levitical system, under sa law, wala ka choice but to give your tithes. Areho, maliro. We have been released from the law. See that? There's freedom. So that we serve in the new way of the Spirit 
and not the old way of the written code. How do you serve God? How do you give? Is it in accordance sa law or is it in the new and living way according to the Spirit? Nahambal kagina, we have died to the law. Napatay na kita sa layi. Now, can you say, sa isa kapatay, hatag tights mo. For example, napatay sa ka-member, kulang tights niya. Pwede mo masukot? According sa law, is the law still applicable? Kung mapatay sa katao, pwede mo masukot sa utang niya, hindi. Although legal. Pwede mo ma-accuse ang isa katao, ang balon mo napatay siya, kay guilty siya sa, la- sa sala niya, napatay siya, ang balon mo ay sulod ka sa presuhan. Anto sa to. You could not use the law against a dead nga person. Can you see the picture? Clear lang. Alright, now. Ang hambal ko sa inyo kagina, I believe in tithing. But this tithing is not based on the law because we are not under the law. And this is seldom taught. And I must be careful kay doktrin ni siya. Okay? Please listen carefully. Medyo madugay-dugay kita sa buong, pero hindi magkita kalabot na launa. Are. Not a law-based tithing, but a tithing that is based on faith. A principle of faith. Di na siya halin. Are. Galatians 3.7, understand then that those who have faith are children of Abraham. This is a tithing that is not based under the law. This is a tithing based on the covenant of God sa kay Abraham. And Abraham is our father of faith. And we are children of faith sa kay Abraham. Pagtuo. Now Abraham tight gave his tight sa kay Melchizedek, and I'll tell you kung sino ni siya si Melchizedek karon. And this is 500 years before the law was given. You see that? Ang tithing precedes the law. Galatians 4, 17-18. Now, tanawin nato ng story. After Abraham returned from defeating Kid- Kidor Laomer, and kings allied with him, now may inaway na dire. Five cities, five kings versus four kings. Ang leaders ang four kings, ang four cities, si Kedor Laomer. Now, sa five cities, ara dito ang city of Sodom and ara dito ang city of Gomorrah. Now, si Lot, dito nag sa Sodom. Although nga Sodom and Gomorrah lapitay. Ang Sodom and Gomorrah, hindi na isa ka city. Ha? Two separate cities na siya. Okay, clear lang? Now, naperdi ang lima ka cities nga ara dito ang Sodom. Gindala si Lot. And ang ginimo ni Abraham, Abraham saved Lot by defeating sa mga kings nga ini. Grabe no? Rana nyo, Abraham returned from defeating Kedar Laomer and the kings allied with him. The king of Sodom came out to meet him in the valley of Shaveh. 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 Samo na. That is the king's valley. Nare na. Verse 18. Una nag-appear ang king of Sodom. Next is this. Nag-appear si Melchizedek, king of Salem. Salem means peace. This is referring sa Jerusalem. This is the old name of Jerusalem. So this Melchizedek is the king of Jerusalem. Nagtanawa ninyo, ano ang pag-abot niya kay Abraham? Anong ginhatag niya kay Abraham? Anong gindala niya? Brought what? Bread and wine. Bread and wine in the Bible is a picture of what? Sige be. Come on. Bread and wine is the picture of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We always do this. This is my body broken for you. This is the cup of the wine. Drink it. This is the symbol of my blood, my life. Now, do you think that the last Melchizedek there is some bread and wine out of accident? No. It is a message of salvation sa kay Abraham. Amen? Are, he brought out bread and wine. Explain ko na karon. He was priest of God Most High. And he blessed Abraham saying, Blessed be Abraham by God Most High, creator of heaven and earth. Una ginambal niya, creator of heaven and earth. And praise be to God Most High who delivered your enemies into your hands. Ginambal ni Melchizedek sa kay Abraham. 
Nga Abraham, Abraham pa tawag siya, ang ginoo ang naghatag sa imus ang victory. Then notice this, then Abraham gave him a tenth of what? Of everything. Now notice the word everything. Nga a everything. Why? Kaya nga, pag abot ni Melchizedek, anong una kinambal niya? Abraham, the God who brought you victory is the God who created the heaven and the earth. Anong butang balon? The owner of heaven and the earth is God. Everything nga may ara ka Abraham subong. E sino na? Iya na sang ginoo. Abraham, nagdaog ka. The victory that you have received right now is of the Lord. Again, the bread and wine is the picture of salvation. Your salvation right now. You are saved right now, Abraham, because of the Lord. Everything that you have is because of the Lord. Now, Abraham responded with a... Ay. Nagtight si Abraham. Why? Nga ang amunin ginubra ni Abraham. Utod, tithing is your natural response when you understand that everything you have in life right now comes from the Lord. Amen? Ang question utod, did God command Abraham to tithe? Was it a commandment? Was it a requirement? May nakita ka mo, Abraham, you give your tithes? No, it was not. Abraham freely gave out of his response to this truth that the victory and salvation and everything else comes from the Lord. Amen? Now, first truth is this. Tithing is your response to God, not a responsibility. It is your response. Now, tanawa pag ninyo. And praise be to God most high who delivered your enemies into your hand. That is why Abraham gave a tenth of everything. You see that? Everything. Hindi lang sam. Because Abraham recognized that everything, halin sa, ginoo. Ano na rin naman nag-abot naman ng king of Sodom? Hambal niya. The king of Sodom said to Abraham, Give me the people and keep the goods for yourself. Ibalik lang ang tao. And then, ang iban nga nga gindagaan mo sa war, nga halin man ni sa Amon, imo na lang na. Ginhatag sang king of Sodom sa kay Abraham, ang iban nga spoils. But Abraham said to the king of Sodom, very interesting, with raised hand I have sworn an oath to the Lord, God most high, creator of heaven and earth, makita ninyo ang pag-recognize ni Abraham, that I will accept nothing belonging to you, not even a thread or the strap of a sandal, so that you will never be able to say, I made Abraham rich. You see that? Tani mahatag man ang king of Sodom sang thing sa kay Abraham. Pero nag-refuse si Abraham. Kaya nga anong reason, Abraham? So that you cannot say na ikaw ang naghimo sa kay Abraham na rich. Ano buot ang balunutod? Abraham refused to receive anything from the king of so Sodom so that no one can take away the glory from God. Amen? Tithing is just saying, Lord, everything that I am right now, what I have become is all because of you. And no one can take that away from you. And so I respond in my tithes freely, not out of obligation. Amen? Now, are kanami. Now, why 10? Very interesting. Why not 12? Why not 13? Why not 15? Have you ever asked the question, why 10? That's why tithes. Tenth. Ten percent. One tenth. Nga a ten. How many fingers do you have? Kung nine, mahambal ka kulang. Ang iban eleven, may sipil. But normally, ang aton fingers is? Okay. Ten. Five little fingers. Tiel mo, pila kabilog? Dua. Okay. Ang tudlo sa tiyela mo na yung ten. Okay. <laughs> Stingan ko lang ang muwara, pagka mo. Now nga, a ten. Now, ang numbers, have you noticed it? Nga, ang numbers nag-repeat sa ten. Pagtapos ang ten, balik naman sa one. 
11, 12, 13. And ang 100% is just a multiple sang 10. 10 times 10 equals 100. 100 is the number of completeness, the number of everything. So why 10? Ang symbol galis ang 10 is everything. Completeness and perfection. That is why out of all the numbers, 10 ang ginagamit sang gino. And pagabot siya kay Abraham, Abraham, everything that we have is mine. It belongs to me. I gave you that victory. Amen? That's why Abraham responded with a tithe. Ang ten commandments pila kabilog. <laughs> okay, of course, ten. Ten commandments na gani. Disciples si Jesus pila kabilog. Oh, di ba? Ten man. Okay. <laughs> Dose. Okay, Dose. Wala na yalabot actually. Wala na yari. When the servant of Abraham brought ten camels, pagpangita niya sa asawa ni Isaac. Tanawa niyo. Then the servant left, taking with him ten of his master's camels, loaded with all kinds of good things from his master. Now, ang ginang baldira, all kinds of good things, pero din siya gin symbolize the ten camels. Aripaged. Genesis 45, 23. And this is what he sent to his father, sa kay Joseph na manib, going pabalik sa kay Jacob. And this is what he sent to his father, ten donkeys loaded with the best things of Egypt. You see that? Ten is the symbol of all the good things and all the best things. It is not by accident. Utod, sa Bible, every detail is significant. That is why even sa Bible, ang mga names, my meaning. Okay? Ang numbers, my meaning. Ang places, my meaning. They are not by accident. Ten is a symbol of God's everything. Now, another account, not only sa kay Abraham, but sa kay Jacob. Ari naman. Jacob. So early in the morning, Jacob took the stone that he had put under his head and set it up for a pillar and poured oil on the top of it. Now remember, nga si uh, Jacob na lagyo sa kay Isaw. And wala siya bayo. I mean, wala siya namin nga bayo. Okay, nasig, ano niya mo, wala siya kwarta. And so God appeared with him in a dream. And so Ario, so early in the morning, Jacob took the stone that he had put under his head and set it up for a pillar and poured oil on top of it. He called the name of that place Bethel, but the name of the city was Luz at first. Then Jacob made a vow saying, if God will be with me and will keep me in this way, that, then I, that I go, and will give me bread to eat and clothing to wear, so that I can come, come again to my father's house in peace, then the Lord shall be my God. Gingaan sang ni Jacob ang ginoo sang kondisyon. Butang balon, Lord, if you bless me, Amunio brahon ko. And this stone which I have set up for a pillar shall be God's house. And of all that you give me, Arina, I will give a tenth to you. Wow. It is a faith principle, not imposed under the law. Abraham type, Jacob type. Ang sakay Jacob naman, conditional. Lord, if you bless me. Utod, ari gali o. We don't give to be blessed. We give because we are blessed. Amen? Which is correct? Give and be blessed or blessed and give? Oftentimes, ang ginatudlo sa aton, you must give to be blessed. Of course, there are a lot of scriptures to that. Ma-prove na nila. Ang right question is this. Which should come first? Not what is right. Okay? But rather, diin dapat ang mauna. Of course, everything comes from the Lord. Una, bless ka sang and then you give. And then when you give, He is blessing you more. Amen? Then you give more. Then God gives more and more. Takto ng hambal, pero may nga, you can never outgive God. But you must remember that God is the blesser, not us. Again, God doesn't need your money. We give not to receive. 
we give because we have received. Amen? Oftentimes, batian ko ang 10%, iyan na sa ginoo. Ibalik sa ginoo ang 10% kay iyan na. Utod, ang 10% iyan sa ginoo, yes or no? Yes. How about ang 90%? <laughs> Have you ever asked that question? Ang 10% is just your, the, the symbol of everythingness sa ginoo sa kabuhi mo. The truth is this, nga ang 10% kaginatag mo iyan as ang ginoo as well as the 90% na nabilin sa imo iyan na as ang ginoo. Pasalamat kita nga wala kang requires ang ginoo to give 100%. Amen? And yet kabudlay pa maghatag. Okay, skip ko lang ang iban. Kaya ang, ang symbols ang 10 may ara pag ang sacrifice ng iban na symbols yun Now, diri kita ma-skip and then ma-focus ako sa, uh, sa conclusion. Who was Melchizedek? Sino to siya? Going back sa story ni Abraham. Who was Melchizedek? Nga out of nowhere, nag-appear lang siya sa kay Abraham. And Abraham responded with a tight. Ara sa Hebrew 7, 1 to 7, gin-explain na dira. For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him. It was Melchizedek who blessed Abraham. Verse 2. And to him, Abraham apportioned a tenth part of everything. Gin sulit naman. He is first by translation of his name. Now, here are the titles of Melchizedek. Una, King of Righteousness. Kadua, King of Jerusalem or Salem. Ikatatlo, King of Peace. Who do you think this man is? Are, he is without father or mother. Oh. Wala sing nanay, wala sang tatay. Tanan nga tawo halin sa kay Adan, kag sa kay iba. Wala na galin sa kawayan. Wala na galin sa amo. He is without father or mother or genealogy. Hindi matrace ang iyang uh, roots. Having neither beginning of days nor end of life. What kind of creature is this na wala beginning, wala sang end? Is this an angel? Ang angels may beginning, wala. They are also created beings. What ang balon? They have beginning. But this Melchizedek, wala sang beginning, wala sang end. But resembling the Son of God, He continues a priest forever. Now nga, again, ang balon, resembling the Son of God. Kaya nga, wala pa ni reveal diri si Jesus Christ as the Son of God. Later pa na sa incarnation niya. See how great this man was to Abraham. The patriarch gave a tenth of the spoils. Utod, who is this Melchizedek? Some scholars believe that this is just a picture of Christ. But I believe that this is Jesus incarnate. I mean, pre-incarnate Christ. Na wala pa nag-fully pakatawo si Jesus. It was Jesus, the King of Jerusalem. Later, by the way, Christ will reign as the King. The King of Peace and the King of Righteousness. No beginning of days. He is from ancient of days. Amen? Now, sa kay Sino, naghatag si Abraham sa iya tithes. Sa kay Jesus. Utod, actually, when you give your tithes, you don't give your tithes to the church. You are giving it to the Lord Jesus Christ. That is why I don't care if you give or not because that is a transaction between you and the Lord. That is why Melchizedek brought bread and wine. Amen? Can you see the picture? It was the Lord Jesus Christ. And notice this. See how great man, great this man was to whom Abraham the patriarch gave a tenth of the spoils. And those descendants of Levi who received the priestly office have a commandment in the law. Now, sa law na commandment na To take tithes from the people that is from their brothers though these also are descended from Abraham. But this man, who does not have his descent, received tithes from Abraham, refer referring to Melchizedek, and blessed him who had the promises. It is beyond dispute that the inferior is blessed by the superior. Botang balon, Jesus is superior to Abraham. Hambalon Jesus sa John, before Abraham was, I am, 
and Abraham was glad when he saw me. Abraham saw Jesus Christ. That is how big Christ is. And notice this. Why did Abraham give his tithes to Christ? In the one case, tithes are received by mortal man. But in the other case, by one of whom it is testified that he lives. Not only nga ang tithes natin is a response sa salvation sa gino para sa aton, but also this is one of the reasons. This is a testament that Jesus Christ is alive. Amen? When you give your tenth to the Lord, it is a testimony, Lord, my faith is on you because I am serving and I am giving to a God nga hindi patay. I testify that you are alive. It is a testament that He lives. Amen? That is why we give. Now, conclusion. Una, tithing is not a law-based system based on the works or the efforts of men. Hindi mo utod mabayaran ang blessings ang ginoo. Everything comes by the grace of God. Hambal ni Apostle Paul, if it is by grace, then it is no longer by works. If you think that God blesses you because naghataga, you are wrong. It does not make you righteous before God. Don't ever think na kung naghatag ka, mas labaw ka sa iban na kristuhanon or mas tutom ka sa iban na kristuhanon. E kadamo bala nagka-problema sa iban na churches, kaya nga ang naghalatag amutong may voice sa simbahan. Kaya kung magwa, ayawan pa munpon sa tanan ni Laging Panghatag. Electric pan, atop, aircon, pulpit, mic stand, hymnals, bangko, hatag guna. <laughs> okay. When you give, you are giving to the Lord Jesus Christ. Always remember that. Now, what tithing is and should be? Una, it is a response, not a responsibility. Here's the right attitude. Not I have to tithe, but rather I want to tithe. Diyotan ko ha? Not I have to tithe, but rather I want to tithe. A recognition that everything you have comes from the Lord. It is a language of faith. A proof that our faith is not on money, but on God. Again, anong symbol sang tithe? Lord, everything comes from you. I respond. How, does, how can you know that your faith is on God? What is the proof of your faith? Because again, faith without works is dead. Hindi niya po, hindi nga dahil planga taka. Pero hasta lang sa text. Wala gani label. Mangkot ka sa yati. Pakaslan mo man ko. Now you have to prove it. Propose ka. Imigo ko nang propose ng ligat si Mana. Congrats. Pakita. Okay. This is a language of faith, a proof ng imo to doon nga pagtoo, kagpagsalig, hindi sa money ni mo, kundi kay Kristo. Amen? A response to Christ's love for giving us His life. Arip again, giving is God's protection against greed. Si Sugar, kung may ara na siya friends price, may tithes na siya sa akin. Ginapangayuan ko. Protection from greed. Pero actually, gusto mo lang ito ya. Natudluan mo ang bata mo maghatag para hindi magdalok. Amen? Now, this is one of the ways na ma-exercise nato ng aton nga nga faith sa ginoo. Imagine, you know, everything you have, for example, may nag-abot sa'yo mo, Lord. I set aside my tense sa'yo mo, nga ah, halini sa'yo mo, Lord. Hindi niya halin ko tungkol kayo madiskarte ko, tungkol kayo sa God ko. Lord, halin niya sa imo. Ano namin, no? Imagine every amuna, gina-acknowledge mo ang gino, ngaw, you're not forced. It's out of love and out of freedom, ng halin sa imo. Ano namin, isang relationship, mag-enjoy ka sa gino. Amen? Now, it is used for God's work. Ari, ang hambal ko kagina, tandaan ninyo, ha? Nasang una, gatag ang mga 
uh, Israelites sa temple to support sang work sa mga Levites. Now, Ari, ginagamit ni Paul the same pictures in the New Testament. Now, Madera, 1 Corinthians 9, 13 to 14, Don't you know that those who serve in the temple get their food from the temple? And that those who serve at the altar share in what is offered on the altar? Now, Ari, yeah. Bali, Paul, in the same way. Oh, this is referring to the types of the people. Nang magatag sila, may portion ang Divides. In the same way, the Lord has commanded us. You see that? The Lord has commanded us that those who preach the gospel should receive their living from the gospel. Ang tithes ninyo otod, this is not to build sang dako nga church building. I want to be clear sa inyo, we will not go after material success. We are here to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and to expand and go outside. Nga damo sang kalag nga ma-save. Importante ang kalag. But utod, we also need money. I'm not saying we don't need money. God doesn't need our money. But we need it for His work. Kag kung wala kita ginsugo sang ginoo maghatag, kag hindi oblige, but ang balon, nga ang paghatag sa ginoo is a privilege. To be a part of God's work. Amen? Alaw, ay mo nag-awalis, Pastor Gutom. May sa ko, Pastor nga, nabatian mag-awali ka ibubunot sa membro nila. Kaya nga, ah, si, ang, ang membro nila, pero may kapo sa Starbucks, si Pastor Gamantiner 3-in-1. Katatlo pati yung plahon, kati 3-in-1. Now, are it is used to support God's work. Now here's the principle, Galatians 5.1. Tapit na lang kita ma-end. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Nangin matay si Jesus for our freedom. Stand firm then, and do not let yourself be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Anong yoke of slavery? This is, this is referring to the law. Basahan ninyo ang context. This is referring to the law. And then nambal ni Apostle Paul sa verse 6, 5.1, kagina 6. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision nor uncircumcision has any value. Again, referring sa long circumcision. Mag-enter ka sa covenant sang law, you have to be circumcised. Kung lalaki ka, of course. Nariambal. The only thing that counts sa tubangan sang ginoo is this. Faith expressing itself in love. Ang nag-account sa tubangan sang ginoo is not the amount. Amen. It is the faith that goes with it. For without faith, it is impossible to please God. And everything that, that does not come from faith is sin. If you are giving your tithes out of obligation, kay nakulbaan ka, kay gusto mo lang niya i-bless ka, sa wala pagtuo, dira, sa wala ka nagsalig sa ginoo, sa wala mo gin-recognize ang ginoo, everything comes from Him, nagatag ka lang kay kilangnan mo, then you are sinning against God. I'm not the one who said that. It's the scripture. Because anything that is not faith is sin. Nothing counts except faith expressing itself in love. Therefore, ang aton tithing should come from faith and love. Ang bal Paul about love. Lord our God, all this, uh, sorry. Kita mo lang. Tala na verse ko. Why ko nalista? Are. Ang bal ni Apostle Paul about love. 1 Corinthians 13.3 if I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but hath not love, I gain nothing. Ang bali na Apostle Paul, bisan ano kadako ang hatag ko, bisan ihatag ko tanan sa mga pigado, but if I don't have love, I gain nothing. It means nothing sa tubangan sa ginoo. Amen? We must give out of faith and out of love. Ang muna ang bali ni David, oh. 1 Chronicles 29.16-17 I know, my God, that you test the heart and are pleased with integrity. All these things I have given willingly and with honest intent. Now notice the word, test of heart. Ang importante gali sa gino, ang imo tagipusoon, hindi ang wallet ni mo. Hambal ni David, All these things I have given willingly and with honest intent, and now I have seen with joy how willingly your people who are here have given to you. Nagatag sila. 
Sorry, ari kilang first part to. Lord our God, all this abundance that we have provided for building you a temple for your holy name comes from your hand. And all of it belongs to you. Ano ginihimo ni David? Gin-recognize niya na ang tanan nga ginhatag nila para sa ginoo, din halin. Halin man mismo sa ginoo. And that is the source of their willingness sa paghatag. Tithing is a matter of the heart. It is a matter of faith and love. You should not give, Utod, if it is not out of love. You should not give if it is not out of faith. Kung gaduwa-duwa ka, kung gaduwa-duwa ka, hindi maghatag. Para mga batiin sinang wali ay. But here's the commandment sa scripture. Sorry, pakita ko sa inyo ha. 2 Corinthians 9:7. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart. You see? It's a heart matter. Not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Now, here's the two commandments sa scriptures about giving. First, you must give cheerfully. Amo nang permi ginawali. Second commandment is this. You must not give under obligation. Ano ba tambalon? balon? When you, you feel obliged, do not give. Ang second, wala ginawali. Kay usually ang ginawali ang first lang. Ang second, pilitan ka man wala, hatag. Yadi pa na. Utod. It is a gold land. We must stick to the word of God and uphold the word of God. Amen? If you feel obliged, wala kay kapatid sa tithing so be it. So what? <laughs> but if you give, you give cheerfully. If you have decided your Lord, I decided in my heart, everything that I have is yours. I respond in my tithes. And don't feel guilty. God still honors that. Again, you're, you're sinning. You must give cheerfully. Do not give out of fear and guilt. Give freely. Now here's the promise ang law and favorite ni usually. Naton. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in mine house and prove me now herewith saith the Lord of hosts. Now try to prove me. If you give your tithes, that is under the law. If I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, and that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Now that is a promise under the law when you faithfully obey the Lord in your tithing. But Utod, again, this promise was fulfilled by Christ in behalf of us. Now look at this, Romans 8.32. He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all. How will he not also, along with him, graciously gives us ilaka things? All things. Ang word nga graciously dila is freely give us all things. Is it along with your tithes? No. It is along with Christ. That is why ang aton pagtuo ara sakay Kristo. Kagang promesas ang gino is this. Again, all of God's promises are, are yes in Christ. We, lingit yung gino maghatag. Ready na yung gino maghatag. Oh, he, along with Him, graciously give us all things. The floodgates of heaven is now open. And what should we do? Again, you respond in faith. Saligi lang ko balambal sang Ginoo in this area of your life. Saligi lang ko balat. That's why grabe gid ang topic always about money and about God. Kay nga ah, money is a test kung diin ang aton pagtuo. Mabalaan mo gid na how do you know that your faith is really on God? Apart from giving. Now here's the blessing by the way Malachi 3:8 and I'll quote us inyo. Since nga ang law has been fulfilled by Christ, Malachi 3.8 says, Will a man rob God? 
yet you have robbed me. But you say, where in have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Utod, we are not under a curse anymore. We are already blessed with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly realms. God is ready to bless you. God has given his son for you, his life for you. Jesus gave the bread and the wine for you. Now you respond by faith and you respond by love. Lord, everything that I am and that I, that I have right now is all because of you. Now you will experience the floodgates of heaven open for you. Amen? Now will you rob God? Rob God of what? Of tithes and offerings? No. You are robbing God of the opportunity to bless you. Don't rob God of the opportunity to bless you. You live by faith and you walk in love. Freely give. Freely receive. Amen?